Aloha. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> I have not felt well the last few weeks. Um, the migraines have finally disappeared. I, you know, for for the, as an everyday thing at least. Um, but I have been in that deep dark pit. Um, I don't know really what's going on. I have been so edgy. Every little thing is driving me nuts. I want to throw things and hit things and just pound into the ground. Um, I, I, I honestly don't know. I, 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 I don't know what's going on. I, I, I know I've been depressed and I don't know if it's the holiday season or what's going on. Um, but it's been very hard to, to sit in front of a camera and, and do anything because of all of this. And so, I don't know, um, I'm finally just doing it, and, you know, I, I know I'm not the only person out there that gets depressed, but I, I really just want to fall in, or crawl into a little hole, and cover up with blankets, and disappear. I don't know. Um, tomorrow I have my last appointment with the MLD on the lymphedema. Um, some days I think that it the lymph the breast is smaller that it's shrinking. You know that the lymph the lymph the lymphedema stuff is shrinking, and other days it doesn't feel like it. So I don't know if it's helping or not. It's something I'm going to have to keep up on my own for probably the rest of my life. Still pisses me off that nobody would tell me what it was or give me help when I first started asking for it. Everybody just wrote it off. Um, I don't know. I, I'm... Now the headache's starting. Oh, God. <laughs> but, you know, I... I actually, I went out last weekend and, and did something. I, I actually went to the local parade. We have a, a light parade at night for Christmas. And I actually went and I filmed. And it is so... I, well, first of all, the, the video came out really crappy because it's at night and it's, you know, bright Christmas lights and I filmed with two cameras. I did my iPhone and I did my, my um, DSLR camera. The DSLR camera is lighter in color. You can see a little bit more detail, but it's really grainy because there are no settings on the camera that let you adjust for video. You can only adjust presets for photos. It's a very simple DSLR, um, something I bought off Craigslist years ago. And, but in video you can't make any adjustments. And so it's very grainy and the lights are very pastel looking they're not bright at all and I noticed it especially there was a rainbow across one one of the trucks that went by you know this big rainbow in lights and I looked at the camera and it's like light you know like white and light blue and pink instead of bright blue and red and you know, it's like very sad looking but then I also filmed with the iPhone and the iPhone you can see the colors clearly, but you can't make out anything else because it's so dark. So, yeah. But, um, so I've been working two weeks on trying to get that together. I had like little snippets of videos that I had to pull all together into one. And now I actually have to go in and put sound over it because I didn't talk when I was watching the parade. I just filmed the parade 
which was probably a mistake. I should have just said, oh, this is so-and-so marching now, and this is so-and-so coming, and then I wouldn't have had to do the voiceover, and so now I have to try and figure that out. And the reason I haven't done it yet is because I have a very simplistic um, uh, video program which allows me to cut little snippets out. I know how to do that. This program does not allow me to take out sound. I did find out that I can't take out sound. I can't add sound in. And so unless it's pre-recorded sound, I can put a sound bite in, but I can't record over something that's there. And so I have to go to a more fancy video program and figure out how to do it and just the way I've been feeling lately I haven't wanted to deal with it at all so maybe I have another day off this week one of the forced vacation days I have to take you know take it or lose it so maybe I will try and do that um, but other than work, you know, I come to work, I fake through my day. Yeah, everything's great. I'm fine. Everything's great. And then I go home and I grumble at t poor Tucker and he just nudges up to me and makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> so, um, that's it. I, it it's really just not feeling real great um, and hoping that it will pass and I will get through it and be back to a more normalized version of myself at some point. <sighs> and I know this is like not what you came in for and you know you want to hear more about everything else you know the cancer and all that and, and right now this is it this is just what's going on um, no cancer updates you know like I said the MLD uh, the lymphedema but um, I have another uh, the appointment I had the follow-up appointment with my surgeon that I had <sighs> I think it was last month sometime it got postponed at the last minute and so it's next week now, so I can update you after that. I don't know that there's going to be any change because, you know, my hair is still not growing real fast. It, right now, it's about as long as it was before I started chemo. So it's taken a year to get to the same length, which, you know, for this length, that's not very... I, that's <sighs> yeah. All right, so that's all I got. I'm sorry, but hopefully next time I post, I will be in a, a more uplifted mood. I will be in better spirits, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh, that's bad. Okay, I'm driving, and there was something on the radio about blood donations, and I forgot I had heard that the other day, and I wanted to say something about it um, but blood donations are really needed right now um, for some reason or well, for some reason um, the holidays uh, blood is falls short during holiday seasons sorry about the light that's I have no idea how to deal with that right now um, but here in Hawaii, it's the Blood Bank of Hawaii, and there we, they were just on the radio, and they said they need, uh, I think, I'm, I'm going to have to check this and make sure I have it right. I think they said they need 100 donors a day in order to, and that 100 donors a day, every day, across the state, in order to meet the demands of blood requirements. And I don't think that's emergency blood requirements. I think that's all blood requirements. And I got to thinking about, I used to give blood every 56 days like clockwork. 
Um, this started back when I lived in Oregon years and years ago. A friend, a friend dragged me into the Red Cross pretty much kicking and screaming. I mean, she pretty much dragged me in there when she was donating um, because I had a phobia of needles. I still kind of do, but it used to be worse. And um, to the point where I was like all woozy because they were gonna shove this needle in my arm. And um, but I got through it, you know, I, I was able to somehow, oh dear, my whole thing turned. Um, somehow I was able to give blood and it turns out I am a universal donor. I have O positive, so I'm able to donate to all positive blood types. And so they really liked me and wanted me to come back. And I was like, oh, I don't know. But I did. And so for several, several years, I donated every 56 days. Um, and I went back because I felt good about doing it. Uh, you know, it was something I could, I could do. It was something that I felt I could make a difference in doing. And so um, when I moved to Hawaii, I, um, the Red Cross does not oversee blood donations here. Instead, it's the Blood Bank of Hawaii. And they have much stricter guidelines than the Red Cross does. And every time I went to donate blood, there was something wrong and I could not donate. It's like my blood pressure was too high. They heard an irregular heartbeat, which really freaked me out for a while there. Uh, my body temperature was too low. I mean, it, and it was always something different. And so for the longest time, I wasn't able to give blood um, for like five years. and. After I had my, the bariatric surgery and I lost weight, the diabetes was under control, the blood pressure was down to normal, and everything leveled out, I went back in and at that point I was able to start giving blood again. And so I'd been giving blood regularly from that point on. So for the last two years I was giving blood regular. well, three years I was giving blood regularly up until a year ago oh geez okay I'm gonna have to tighten that down um, it's a new camera mount that I'm testing out and so um, up until last year when I was diagnosed with cancer and then I had to stop but blood donation is still like a pet project of mine it's something everybody can do doesn't matter what blood type you are, um, how old you are, as long as you're an adult. Um, I think there are age restrictions, like 16, you can go in with a, a parent's approval or something. Um, you have to check your local blood bank. But, um, you know, it, it's something that's easy to do. And it, oh geez, okay. And it really doesn't take long. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fast flower. <laughs> So I'm in and out of there, you know, I am I can be out of there in half hour, 45 minutes, just depending on what the weight is. And I always, you know, once I finish donating blood, I make my appointment for the next time. And so that way I'm all set. So I want to encourage everybody out there, because I'm sure this 100 units of blood a day, you know, is pretty much going to be the same everywhere per ca you know it, it may different per differ per capita but the percentages or the ratios or whatever you want to call it are going to be about the same wherever you live so I encourage everybody go get blood and one of the reasons I especially do encourage this um, there was one year I was not able to give blood and that is when I had to have my hysterectomy, which I won't go into that whole detail, but 
before I had the surgery and what led me to the hysterectomy was I lost a lot of blood and I had to have a transfusion with three units of blood. So here I'd been donating blood all those years and then I actually needed blood. So I've seen both sides of it. And I can tell you, you know, that was, that was a really a great thing. So, you know, think about all the people that, you know, and you're not just talking accidents and disasters, you're talking about, that was just a normal medical thing that happens to a lot of women. And so you're talking about surgeries and all just normal stuff that happens every day. So I encourage everybody to go out there and donate blood, no matter what your blood type, you know, check your local Red Cross or your local blood bank, wherever you can give blood and make a difference. Bye-bye.